Hey guys, enjoyinggood.com here to talk about what is MHL. Now before we get into that, let's talk about the current way that people connect their phones to their televisions. Uh, on the HTC Evo 4G, right? If I want to connect it, I have to plug in from the HDMI out port and I have to plug in my standard charger. That means I have to have two ports in the phone and two cords running back there. That's not the most inconvenient way of doing things, but it's also not the best way of doing things. And that's where MHL comes in. MHL stands for Mobile High Definition Link. What it basically does is it creates one port for these two functions. I connect an MHL cable, I put it into the HDMI in slot on my television, and not only does it send HD video out, you know, 1080p full HD, it has surround sound audio, but while it's doing that and mirroring everything that's on my phone, it's also charging the phone because MHL has a special switch in the port. So if you plug it into the wall, it's just going to charge your phone. But if you plug it into the TV, it's going to do HDMI out and charge your phone at the same time. There's only one problem with MHL. You can't use it yet. Uh, most televisions on the market, well actually all televisions on the market, don't have MHL capabilities fully built into them. Now you need that to get the direct link from the MHL port straight into your HDMI in uh, port on your television. That's going to change in 2011 because there will be MHL compliant televisions, most likely from Samsung or Toshiba because they're part of the consortium that's promoting MHL. Now there are some phones on the market that support it already, like Samsung Infuse 4G, and when you get that, it's going to come with an adapter. I'm going to show you how you can use the adapter if you want MHL right now. Let me reiterate that this is not the MHL that we're going to see in the future. This is just how it works with an adapter on the Infuse 4G because the setup is not that great. Uh, what you have to do is you get this little adapter and then you get the standard uh, power charge that comes with the Infuse. You plug it into this little side port. All right. Then you get the HDMI uh, cord from your television. You put it one end on the HDMI in on the television and you take the other end and you put it at the end of this adapter. Okay. Then you plug in the charge into the a power source, and once you plug it into your phone, it comes up on your television. Uh, as you can see, I've got Seismic open right now, and I press the back button, it follows along. I'm scrolling through, and it's doing everything with me, right? I press home. When I swipe through, it follows along. So let's see if I can watch a video real quick. Uh, now, if you've got the Infuse, don't bother trying to watch Media Hub because it's blocked. Uh, when you go there, you can launch the app, but if you try to watch an episode, press play. As you see, it starts working for a second, and then it works on the phone, but then on the television, it, it tells you that it's blocked. Uh, it also blocks the camera, but it does support YouTube. I tested that already and it does support uh, other media that you've downloaded. So let me go to video player. I'll browse through video player and just choose Cowboys and Aliens. How about that? Raise the volume on this thing. Pretty nice, huh? All right, I press home, and there it is. Uh, it follows along. You can, it works with games. Uh, it doesn't scale up everything, so it, if your game doesn't have high-quality graphics, it's going to look pixelated when you put it on the TV. But if you ever wanted to, you know, play Angry Birds, 40-inch screen. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, I can go home. What else was there that I could show you? That's pretty much it. Um, let me double check. Oh yeah, of course, the gallery app. Uh, if you got people over, you want to show them something that you, some photos that you took. Just launch the camera. You can browse through your gallery, through your Picasa or through your stored photos. Uh, you can play videos that you recorded on the, the device. Let me see if I find, I'll play this video real quick, and that'll be the last thing I show you. And this was filmed in uh, HD, and uh, you can't really see it on the TV, but it is playing out just as good as I filmed it. 
really nice. Uh, this is Andrew from Adronica.com just showing you how the MHL adapter on the Infuse 4G works. Look out for real true MHL support to come later in 2011 when we have MHL compliant TVs and cords that will run directly from the phone into the TV rather than this little... I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, this is not an ideal setup, but this is just a placeholder because in the future we're going to have something much better. Alright, see you guys later.